Hello everyone, I'm Kevin, otherwise known as Forum BX257, here to bring you another 1980s G.I. Joe toy review. And today I'll be taking a look at the G.I. Joe Undercover Agent, the 1987 Chuckles. Now Chuckles makes his first comic book appearance in the old Marvel comic run in issue number 60. G.I. Joe number 60 is actually quite famous for being that one hold vintage issue being penciled by Todd McFarlane before he became famous. Chuckles makes his first and only animated appearance in the old 1987 G.I. Joe animated movie, where for some reason they decided to make him a silent muscle head throughout the whole movie. That's right, there won't be any voice actor autographing my card anytime soon. In very stark contrast, throughout the comic book run, he is actually quite prominent as being someone who uses his criminal investigation division expertise to root out uh, corrupt politicians and corrupt generals throughout the uh, comic run. Another very interesting thing is that, uh, well, a lot of people don't like the way he looks, but that's only because he's actually based on the uh, sort of Miami Vice, uh, Hawaii Five-O type of uh, look with his uh, Hawaiian shirt. As interesting a character he is and how integral he is to the G.I. Joe universe, you have to admit, Chuckles here has gotten the short end of the action figure design stick. Taking a look at his accessories, he comes with a Colt Combat Commander 45 caliber pistol. And I'll admit, yeah, it does have some some likeness to the actual Colt, which is a uh, smaller version of the government model 1911A1, but it also has some features like a thicker frame and a smaller slide and this tiny bit of the barrel sticking out, which is kind of not really Colt-like, but I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Chuckles also comes with a quick draw shoulder harness which is basically a shoulder holster I shouldn't say basically because it doesn't really fit the way uh, it doesn't really fit very naturally as you can see it's sort of a um, buckle and loop type of a design it has two notches so you can either use the first notch which is a bit obviously a bit wider and have it like that or use the second notch and actually have it around his his uh, waist. To be perfectly honest, this guy kind of looks like the action figure version of Hannibal from the A-Team. Personally, I like the Chuckles action figure, but I was actually familiar with the character long before I got the figure itself, so I can sort of excuse some of its shortcomings. A person seeing the figure for the first time probably wouldn't do that, and as such he's actually fairly common to find on the aftermarket, complete with all his accessories. He can be found sealed on the card, and he is fairly cheap in both loose and carded versions. One thing I think that would have really have made the figure a bit better is if he came with an accessory, something like a, a briefcase or maybe tiny little handcuffs, something that wouldn't be out of the ordinary for the character, but would have stirred the imagination for those not familiar with him already. Well, that's all the time I have right now. Thank you for watching my video, and stay tuned for next week to see another 1980s G.I. Joe toy review. See you then!